Welcome everyone to the Getting Started in the All New Timeline View webinar. Today, you'll get a first-hand walkthrough of how to use this powerful new view and unlock its full potential for visualizing and managing your date-based projects. Let's dive in. My name is Electra Heldy, and I'm a Principal Marketing Manager on the Product Marketing Team here at Smartsheet. By the end of this session, you'll be able to understand the key features available in the all-new Timeline View and learn how to set up, customize, and use Timeline View in your sheets. Today, licensed users on business plans and above can create and share in Timeline View to organize, visualize, and plan their date-based tasks. Let's switch over to Smartsheet where the user is already logged in and has navigated to the example sheet here in grid view. This sheet has both a start date and an end date column. Now let's go ahead and switch into the new timeline view by navigating to the layout switcher and selecting the timeline option. Just like that, you're now seeing the all new view. You'll immediately notice that this view has an exciting layout that is different from all of our other views. Time is displayed horizontally across the top. There are lanes to help you group your data and all of your rows or tasks are visible in the center of the view. Let's start by talking about grouping. In Timeline, tasks can be organized into groups to help you easily organize and visualize your data. In this example, you see task groupings based on phase to make it easy to see each part of the project plan. If you'd rather see how work is distributed across the team, for example, you can adjust the grouping to organize tasks by the team they are assigned to. In order to do that, let's navigate to the group button in the toolbar and switch from the phase column to the assigned to column. When configuring grouping, it's possible to group not only by one, but two columns. For example, on a project, you might want to group by region and then by team, or by product and then by release. When grouping, you can use any single select dropdown, single select contact list, or symbol column in your sheet. You can also explicitly choose to show or hide the uncategorized lane. Next, let's take a closer look at how our sheet's data is being displayed. As I mentioned, this sheet has two date columns, a start date and an end date. You can select which columns in your sheet are used as the start date and end date for your timeline in project settings which is available in grid view. Timeline displays items as either diamond shaped milestones or bars. Items appear as bars if they have both a start and end date provided that are different. And items appear as milestones when dependencies are enabled in project settings. And the item has a zero day duration. You can hover over bars and milestones to see their full title and the date or dates associated with them. Now, let's say that as you're reviewing your data, you discover an error and you need to edit an individual task. You can double click or right click on any bar or milestone to view its details and make edits. For example, let's say you want to rename this task and push the start date out by a week. You can right click it Select Edit Details, type in the new task name, and adjust the start date. You'll see that these changes will be, immediate, will be immediately saved and reflected on the timeline. If while you're editing you make a mistake, don't worry. Undo and Redo are here to help. You can easily undo or redo your changes as needed using these toolbar buttons or using the standard Command or Control Z or Command and Control Y keyboard shortcuts as well. As you make edits, all of your changes are always saved automatically in Timeline View. Also, any edits you or your peers make 
to tasks on the same sheet will appear for everyone else to see in real time. One of the things that can be really helpful with Timeline View is that it enables you to have a bird's eye view of your entire project from start to finish, and it allows you to drill in and see granular details at the day level. As you're working, there are a couple of different ways you can adjust your time scale in Timeline View. You can use the zoom functions to zoom in and out from your current view, or you can use the time scale dropdown to change from days to weeks, months, quarters, and years. Like all of our other views, it's also possible to use filters in Timeline View to help you work more efficiently. You can apply any filters that you've already created in your grid, Gantt, card, or calendar views by simply selecting them in the filter dropdown. If, for example, you want to see only tasks that have a status of not started, you can navigate to the filter dropdown and select the status not started filter. You can just as easily switch between filters or turn off applied filters using that same dropdown. Another thing you can do in Timeline is change the colors of the bars and milestones so that they have meaning. For example, you can configure bars to change color based on status, due date, or who they are assigned to. Timeline has been built to display any taskbar colors you've already manually added or conditionally formatted in other views. Let's head back over to Grid so you can see how to apply conditional formatting colors in Timeline. First, you would open conditional formatting. Here, you can see that conditional formatting rules have been created based on status that tells Smartsheet to turn the task gray if not started, blue if in progress, in review, or approved, red if blocked, and green if complete. For each rule, note that the taskbar color specifically has been set. This is what carries over to Timeline View. Now, if you return to Timeline View, you'll see that the colors from the conditional formatting rules are automatically being applied, making it easy for you to visually tell at a glance the status of each task. Items being actively worked on are colored, while those that have not yet been started appear in gray. Once you've configured a timeline that communicates your project's details in the way that will best support the needs of your team, go ahead and share your timeline with collaborators. Doing so will give everyone the real-time updated information they need to better manage their team's work and projects. To share your timeline, simply click the Share button. Add the name of the person or group you'd like to share timeline to. Select Timeline as the default view if you want timeline to be the view that collaborators see first when opening the sheet. And click Share. It's that easy. There you have it. You now understand the key features and functionalities of the all new Timeline View and have learned how to set up and customize Timeline View in your sheets. Thank you so much for joining me today to explore the new Timeline View. The demo you have seen is just the beginning for Timeline. The Smartsheet team is actively working to add more functionality to the view to improve it as a communication and collaboration tool for your projects. Stay tuned as we continue to make enhancements to Timeline View in the coming months, and cheers to a new future where it's easy to visualize and manage your date-based work in Smartsheet.